A report that was published by Pennsylvania senators lists hundreds of poorly performing nursing homes all across the country. Senators say these nursing homes have serious health and safety violations, but were left off an official list of troubled nursing facilities. Eyewitness News Washington correspondent Morgan Wright reports the senators are taking matters into their own hands. Pennsylvania Senators Democrat Bob Casey and Republican Patrick Toomey say when a family or individual decides to place their loved one in a nursing home, it can be difficult. This is a critical, uh, sometimes life altering decision. They absolutely deserve to have the information about the quality of care their loved one is going to get. The Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services is in charge of a special monitoring program for nursing homes that have serious health and safety violations. The report reveals nearly 400 nursing homes are underperforming across the country, and the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid kept that hidden from the public. We were disturbed to learn that there was a whole category of nursing homes across America, including some in Pennsylvania, that did not meet the normal standards of care and quality, and yet they were, uh, their names were being withheld. Senator Toomey says fewer than 100 of them are participating in a special monitoring program. Those are disclosed, but the only reason that the other 400 are not in that program is because there's not enough manpower. CMS told the senators federal budget reductions just don't give them enough resources to properly report. They need more money, I'll support it. I'm in the whatever dollar amount it takes category. Uh, to fix this problem. The lawmakers hope this study will lead to improved nursing home care and help consumers make informed decisions about which facility they choose. In Washington, Morgan Wright.